What's indeed going on, Jerome's? So it is a beautiful Tuesday. Birds are indeed chirping and stuff. So we're going to do up another seven round Vikings mock draft. But I, I feel like condensing some picks. And so the Vikings are going to do the, just that in this draft. But uh, since this is not NOM, there are rules here. Kirko walks. Gets paid in, in Hotlanta. Darnold is signed with Nick Mullins. Jared Hall as a bridge QB. Also, the Vikings will be in the market for the quarterback of the future. Jefferson, not extended. He wants to see what goes on with the quarterback, and then I think that he will get paid. There you go. Daniil walks, unfortunately. Uh, DJ Wanham re-signed on the edge, uh, as well as uh, scrolling down. So Jonathan Grenard uh, coming in from Houston uh, helps supplement a little bit of pass rush prowess on the edge. Dalton Reisner resigned. Jordan Hicks resigned. Uh, Brandon Powell resigned. Bradbury cut. We'll get to that. Harrison cut and he signs with Dallas. That one hurts. That, that one hurts. Legereus Sneed uh, keeps his helmet on and signs with the Vikings. Uh, so the Vikings are good to go at cornerback. And uh, then Lloyd Cushenberry, the third, uh, probably going to be a cap casualty in Denver. Then he re reunites with Chris Cooper, uh, and the Vikings get a little bit more mass uh, in the middle uh, of the Vikings' offensive line. So, uh, needs heading into this draft. Quarterback, yes. D-line, yes. Um, you could always use another corner, sure. Uh, maybe some depth along the offensive line, yes. Maybe a wide receiver. I, I understand how that it sounds weird, but hedging with Jefferson could be the play here. Also, Three deep, ain't, ain't nobody, uh, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. So, ooh, when all Sopranos there. There we go. All right, so uh, first round. Uh, so, we got Caleb Williams, Drake May, Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, Brock Bowers, Joe Alt, uh, Roma Dunze, Cooper DeJean, uh, Nate Wiggins, and Olu Fushanu. Now, you know, the PFF uh, mock draft machine has been a little bit wonky, and I, I fully do not expect jane daniels to be there at number 11 but I, I certainly will take advantage of that i mean I, I guess there could be a world where mcdaniels uh or excuse me where jane daniels again jaden mcdaniels and jaden daniels we, we corner in the market on that where daniels could fall at the top 10 uh maybe some concerns about his frame maybe some concerns about him uh, just sort of throwing his body around i mean he does need to take care of himself at the next level uh but i mean we will certainly take it uh, at 11. Uh, you are now the new Vikings franchise, future franchise quarterback, Jaden Daniels. Skull SC, uh, now, and now after the Vikings uh, ink up Jaden Daniels, uh, Justin Jefferson signs an extension like that. We'll take that, man. So now, interesting spot. So Kwame Laster, who we've drafted quite a bit, Chop Robinson, uh, Darius Robinson, uh, the two Robinsons that I feel like could find their way into the back end of the first round. Uh, let's see here. Save Worthy. Roman Wilson? Uh, again, we said that we could be in the wide receiver uh, business. And Roman Wilson, uh, if you want yourself a diet version of Amonra Sam Brown, could go that route. But, yeah, we said we're going to condense some of these picks. Oh, yeah, 26 freaking trade offers, man. All right, so the Raiders. The Raiders. Na -na 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 uh, and like we said before, I, I don't think the Vikings are getting in any compensatory picks. So these are sort of moot. But like, how how much can we condense these? Thirty seven percent. All right. So moving down two spots and then getting seventy seven, and then can we get this? Hmm. I feel, I feel like we can get that. All right. So uh, for trade thirty seven. No, oh, we got it. We got it. All right. So we we condense some of our late round picks. Uh, so they moved up for Penix. Chop Robinson went. No big deal. Uh, so now this is off screen. But now we got. A 44, 77, 109, 130, and 145. Hell, oh, might, might even condense those a little bit further. But now uh, I feel like uh, the absolutely toolsy uh, Darius Robinson, even though, yes, the Vikings did sign Jonathan Grenard as well as a re-signed uh, DJ and Wanham, I feel like that would be super tempting. But okay, we got 28 trade offers again. Uh, so we, we were racked up and jacked up. Hmm. Uh, can, can we just keep condensing these picks down? 13%? Never tell me the odds. One more time. One more time. All right, fine. 47%. One more time. Un mas paseo. Un ma All right, so there you go. 73%. There we go. There you go. There you go. Uh, all right, so uh, we're still on board. Darius Robinson just went. So now we're, we're sort of freed up. I mean, we could do whatever the hell we want. Edron Cooper uh, would be great long-term with Ivan Pace Jr. Uh, would certainly be interested in that. 
Uh, we, we got 46, 77, 82, and 130. Now, more, more about quality over quantity uh, in this spot, even though I, I absolutely love me taking as many draft picks as possible. But uh, defensive tier, Chris Jenkins, uh, Ruka Rororo is there. I, I love Ruka Rororo. Uh, Brandon Fiske is there. Tavondre Sweat, of course. Hall. Uh, Dwayne Carter we love a ton. Uh, LT3 is great. Uh, Christian Boyd. How, how did Boyd not get invited to the Combine? That, that's that's a dereliction of duty. Just said duty. Mm. Uh, so there's a lot of directions that we could go in this spot, but people are going to get really mad. People are going to get really, really upset. But I feel like Roman Wilson, given his senior bowl, and uh, yes, Roman Wilson was definitely held back uh, in a similar fashion as J.J. McCarthy. And I understand, wide well, receiver ain't a need, bro. But Roman Wilson in this spot is is just absolute value. That's why we're taking Edron Cooper. Ah, we got him. We got him. So uh, Cooper, Cooper, Pace, and Hicks uh, will be the law firm uh, at, at the linebacker position. And uh, uh, I guess Asimo will be a paralegal. Why not? Ooh. Ooh. All right, so Malachi Corley is there, the, the yards after the catch master. Uh, Brandon Fiske is there along the defensive line. I kind of want both. Is there is is there some way that we can get both? Or do we, do we gamble just a, a, a smidgen? So, yes, I'd be fine with Tavondre Sweat, uh, Brandon Dorless. You know, obviously uh, different styles of defensive tackle. Uh, so I'm going to gamble a little bit here. All right, so I'm going to take Malachi Corley here in this spot. Kind of glad we passed up on Wilson. So now we're able to do this. And uh, now Fiske is there. Trotter Jr. is going to be a stud, too. Uh, Christian Mahogany. We've got Rich Leatherbound Books. Uh, it is an absolutely, uh, absolutely studly guard. Uh, Cedric Van Praan, I think, is very underrated at center. Uh, but we do have Cushenberry uh, in free agency. Uh, Chris Hayes, Dray- ooh, Bucky Irving, of course, is it- just there chilling. Uh, or, or in this spot, but uh, Brain Fiske, even though a little bit older of a prospect, had himself a fantastic senior bowl and both heart and hustle, you know, good against the run as well as uh, getting that that first step, uh, rushing the passer. I-, I think that's a really solid pickup, man. So, all right. So, like we said, we are condensing these picks. We got one pick remaining. Uh, And now, I mean, there's lots of different directions. So, Will Shipley, Braylon Allen are there at the top end uh, for for running backs. And remember, for cornerback-wise, we did sign LeJarius Sneed in free agency uh, for everyone complaining about, oh, why didn't you draft a corner? Hmm. Uh, But now, Cooper Cooper Baby and Baby Accessories is there, too. I love Cooper Baby, man. He's really good. Uh, All right. Hutas Washington. Ah. Ah, ah, speedster. All right, so now, sort of flip a coin. I mean, Braylon Allen, his numbers were down last year because he was uh, in shotgun more in an air raid system versus he he needs he, like he's basically Adrian Peterson in the fact that he needs to be in I formation or single back formation and gap 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 just running downhill. Uh, Will Shipley. Will Shipley is a yards after contact uh, dynamo. He's got great agility. Uh, he's got great versatility at both as a runner as well as a receiver. I think he's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I think that you know, the Alvin Kamara comparisons are pretty apt. I think Braylon Allen is kind of more like a more, more like a diet uh, uh, Brandon Jacobs uh, type running back. Uh, m- maybe not quite to the the power degree, but he's certainly uh, up there. But sort of toss a coin. I mean. Shipley and Ty Chandler would have a lot of cro- crossover, yes. And it would be great to have Braylon Allen for those short yard situations. Actually, yeah, screw it. We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. So uh, even though Braylon Allen is a stupid badger, uh, we brought him on in. So now, uh, Rada picks, which I'm, I'm kind of okay with. So again, Kirk Cousins walks. Sam Darnold, Nick Mullins, Hall, Bridge quarterback. Jefferson not extended, but I think that he he, he will ink up now that Jaden Daniels uh, is in the building. Daniel Hunter walks. Wanham is back. Reisner back. Jordan Hicks uh, is back. Uh, Powell resigned. Bradbury cut. Uh, but then, uh, well, Harrison also cut too. Uh, but then in free agency, Quasi done done cooked. So Jonathan Grenard coming in from the Texans, uh, going to help supplement on the edge with DJ Wanham. Legarius Sneed uh, is going to be great on the outside. A little bit grabby, but w- whatever. Keep your helmet on. Uh, he gets paid. Uh, so Murphy Jr., Makai Blackman, Legarius Sneed, and whatever you get out of Evans and, and Boo Jr. at corner. And then Cushenberry is the new man in the middle. Uh, very much experienced with Chris Cooper and company. So I absolutely love that, man. So uh, the Vikings, like we said, we, we, we condensed some picks. Uh, oh, we got a B plus. Uh, except uh, th- this is Asian parent grading. B, you, you mean you'll be homeless if you no get go get A. Uh, so Jane Daniels falls to eleven, and I, I don't expect it, 
but I'm not going to say no. Sure. And then we had a couple trade downs uh, with the the Raiders and the Colts. Uh, we took Edron Cooper, uh, who probably, well, he, he's either 1A or 1B in terms of the best off ball uh, in this class. And I think that Cooper and Pace uh, are going to feed families for many years to come. Uh, Malachi Corley uh, from Western Kentucky. I mean, uh, he's a ton of fun, uh, gets good separation, as well as he is a yards after catch uh, dynamo. Uh, I think that he's going to be great to work with Addison as well as Again, a little bit of Justin Jefferson insurance, even though with Jane Daniels uh, in place, I think that J.J. gets that deal done. Uh, Braden Fiske coming down on in, uh, depth along the defensive line. And, and, no, he's not really that that nose tackle run stuffer. But, I mean, could, could we just play Kyrus Tonga one time? There we go. And then Braylon Allen, hey, we ain't running the tush push anymore with Brandon Powell pushing now. Uh, now we got an absolute sledgehammer uh, back there running the ball. I think that him uh, being paired up with Ty Chandler is going to be fantastic. So, I think we're pretty much good to go. There you go. Uh, but that's it. Uh, it's doing a Vikings seven-round mock draft, but really four because we condensed picks. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once put the work, put a little something on the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.